What's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. It's another beautiful day in Arizona. And today I've got a special treat for you guys. We're gonna take a tour of this 2020 Van Lee Beacon. This is a $155,000 fifth wheel. I've really been wanting to come into one of these fifth wheels for a long time now. So this has the front living area. The first thing I notice is this huge digital touchscreen right here. And my clients, we just washed their coach. So I was able to twist their arm. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I was able to twist their arm to let me come take a tour. So they've got their really cool dog. They're getting ready to actually turn this area into a desk area. So he's kind of got everything stacked up here for storage, but he's going to have a custom desk area installed right here. I'm 6'2". I'm in the front living area. I've got plenty of headroom. I got to give my buddy Big Tony a call. I, I think he might be having to, to tilt down a little bit. Maybe he'll be next time, uh, next time we tour one of these. So really nice living area. I like the fireplace. Smart folks keep their dog in a kennel. I keep a kennel in my coach uh, for Sadie as well. He, yeah, add anything. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, fireplace uh, electric. Yeah, totally electric fireplace. Yeah. 55 inch uh, Ultra K, 4K TV. 4K 55 inch TV, how cool is that? Really nice, and I'm just noticing all of the woodwork, and I really like the LED lighting here underneath the woodwork as well. Specific to the beacon. And this is only in the Beacon. If you look in other um, Van Lee, the uh, uh, Volanos aren't gonna have that LED lighting. So that's one of the, the steps up. Now, I really like the finishes. I'm gonna get the camera up close so we can see the textures there. Tiffin is really stepping up at their design in their newer models. This is a 2020. And one of the cool things I notice is the ceiling actually in the kitchen. It reminds me of like the new Allegro buses and the new Phaeton. So I, I always ask folks, what kind of problems have you had with your RV? And that's really what kind of sparked this YouTube channel is I have the ability to just extract so much great information from so many people. And of course, these folks are on their maiden voyage right now. And I want to ask what problems you have. And we all know if someone tells you that they don't have any problems with their RV, they either never use it or they're lying, one of the two, because they all have problems. There's two problems with this coach, very minor problems, but we just thought we'd let you know that when you buy a really nice RV like this, you've got to expect some things to go wrong. Now, fortunately, this customer is very, very happy with the service that they've received from Van Lee. So I want to tell you uh, the two minor problems that they did have and what they did to get it fixed. So the first problem was I had a uh Water, light, water leak in the basement. There was a small water leak in the basement door. They had basically crimped a line too tight and that created a leak. And they got a mobile guy out in, was it Los Angeles? Or no, where? this was uh, in Centralia, Washington. So back in Washington, they got a mobile guy to come out and fix that. Did it, was it pretty smooth? Uh, oh, to... They found it, fixed it, Van Lee paid it. I had no issues. They found it, fixed it, Van Lee paid for it. Super easy, super simple. And then the other thing was kind of a wiring issue. Um, you had an uh, after, the, the client had an aftermarket security system installed on this coach. And when it was plugged in, when he was towing it, it was only set for 15. Uh, they had a 15 amp fuse in it and they should have changed it up to 20. And these uh, security cameras uh, overloaded the 15 amp fuse, blew it. I had no idea where the fuse was and the dealer talk, walked me through it. We found it, fixed it on the road again. Perfect, <clears throat> real easy. So uh, they're on their maiden voyage, what, 2,000 miles or so you've put under 1,500? Uh, uh, they're on their that maiden voyage. Uh, uh, they've got about 1,500 miles so far. So I'm just uh, telling you guys exactly how I see it. Really cool to see this, uh, this fifth wheel. Uh, Van Lee is doing an awesome job on this. Another happy customer, just reporting it to you guys live. 
This is the front living room area. Let's go take a look. Let's go Let's take a walk down inside. Another fun fact is uh, Van and Lee Tiffin. It's Van Tiffin and Lee Tiffin, uh, a son of Bob Tiffin and a grandson of Bob Tiffin are heading this company. So that's where the name Van Lee comes from, Bob's son and Bob's grandson. So I really like the walls here and then a really cool texture on the around the window frames. And like I mentioned before, that touch screen, even the, uh, even the steps just have a really cool pattern to them, like really cool texture. And I really like the color of the floors. They did an awesome job with all the floors and all the finishes. This wood is actually an English chestnut, so really cool here and i really like this nook now they're living you know you see they've got their stuff here and seahawks fans we we we've got they're coming in heavy down here in arizona they're coming down to washington oregon the midwest so we appreciate all of you that are coming down so full-size residential refrigerator here and this is the english chestnut cabinetry and I really like this all the, ceiling. All the other patterns and the wall colors. Yeah. Um, we had them take from a 2019 Milano because we'd like those colors better than what actually came with the beacon. Okay. Yeah, so these folks actually had all of these wall colors come out of a 2019 because they like those colors better than the ones that were in the beacon. So huge sitting over here and look at the size of that window. I mean, that's uh, just for me to be in front of the camera for perspective so you can see how big this window is and just a really nice kind of desk area. It looks like you can have the chairs on both sides, but they've got they got their priorities straight and make sure <laughs> our got to make sure our, our, exactly our four-legged friends i'm gonna go take a look at the kitchen here yeah this i love the uh love that huge refrigerator oh yeah sure all right where's the beer at <laughs> yeah look at how big that refrigerator is that's huge you can see how little that uh uh, those bananas are just to show and then the pull out uh, freezer as well so I won't even pull that out but I really like the backsplashes and all the finishes that they're doing really nice countertops very cool backsplash there and again that's all out of the Milano the microwave is also a convection okay yeah so they got the convection oven microwave and, and a real oven yep and this is real real RVers, and so they're, they've got some dishes in there, but I really like, look how big this sink is. And they're, you know, like I said, they, this was a last minute deal. Like 30 minutes ago, these folks pulled in and I'm like, hey, let me, let's, let's work out a deal. Let me come take a tour of this. So greatly appreciate them let, letting us take a tour of one of the coolest fifth wheels around. So, but this sink though, super cool and, and just a really, um, farm like a farm style deep sink with the steel and the really nice countertops as well I like those is it okay if I take a oh, peek yeah, back yeah. in the all right so it's a big bathroom all right so this is the biggest advantage of this thing. okay so this is the bathroom which is really nice because you've got the rear master bedroom back here and then the bathroom and that's actually a very good cleaning tool tool that's the same material that the bug sponges that we use are so if you don't order those bug sponges i left an affiliate link in a video i did a couple uh, days ago if you can't find those and you want to go right to walmart this material right here works really good for taking the bugs off of your coach little uh, little fun fact there so yeah i love the uh the cabinets and the countertops the color of this countertop and you can see they've got the high-end finishes on the um uh, on the the backsplash here the countertops really a very cool rig and i'm inside of this bathroom right now and like this ceiling i can't even i'm six two i can't even can't even reach my hand even close to the roof here let's go take a look at the uh the bedroom here huge bedroom so the first thing that i notice is someone that's six two is how tall the ceiling is super super tall ceilings and um and then it looks like huge uh, closet area back there. How about this headboard? How cool is that with the kind of leather kind of look to it? And then really nice cabinet storage above the headboard there. And I just can't believe how tall the ceilings are. Oh, look at this, a full-size washer and dryer too. 
Sorry about that. No problem. And then you've got a huge TV back here as well. And they really did a good job with all the different cabinet drawers. And you've got more uh, more dresser drawers here, dresser drawers here. You've got a nice place you could set stuff on here, a nice place you can set stuff on there. We yeah. asked them to remove the cabinets up yeah, there, there so we could have a bigger TV. There was a, was a cabinet oh, okay. here that it comes standard with and a 24 inch TV, nah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we asked them to remove that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so this coach originally had cabinets up here that went all the way along, but it was only a 24 inch TV. So they had all the cabinets removed and then put the big TV. They've got their priorities in line. And so um, one of the other cool things that I just noticed here too is this barn style door here. So I'm gonna. Oh, you just push, push that down. down. Dog took care of our bottom one here. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah their their dog is half German Shepherd, half Chow. So <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to upset that dog. So and then the entrance here too into the bathroom from the um, from the master bedroom here. So now one thing that we did change is this comes standard with king size bed. But yep. We wanted the extra six inches to walk around, so yeah. we opted for the queen. Oh, very cool. So, yeah, they they normally put a king size bed in here, but these folks opted for a six a uh, 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 queen size bed just so that they could have that extra room um, to to move around there, the extra walking room around the coach there. So, awesome. Hey, I greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video and coming on a tour of this Van Lee Beacon fifth wheel. So greatly appreciate the owners uh, letting us take a tour of this. Greatly appreciate all of you watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more cool RV related content like this. I hope you're all having a great day. The first thing I really like that they did with this coach is full body paint. A lot of the other Van Lee Volanos are still gel coat with decals. This is their top of the line rig and that's why it's got the full body paint with the black, blue, and silver colors, I'm definitely digging these colors.